This one's for the record books. Pain happens. What's good, y'all? Now, this is to the men. How many times have you actually cried out? How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? Well, that's what Habakkuk said in the first chapter and the second verse. I know very well that pain happens. I am one who is not exempt from pain, especially my past pain. Whether it's the physical pain of an injury, the emotional pain of a fractured and seemingly unmendable relationship, or the unexplained hurt of loss, pain has a habit of weaving its way into our lives. We try to convince others that everything will get better, but it doesn't help. And it's even worse if a friend tells us, it will get better, man, don't worry. We're not trying to hear that because the most pressing issue at that time is the pain. And to assert optimism early proves unconvincing. When pain happens, rather than prodding us with hallmark type phrases, the Bible speaks with strong honesty. Habakkuk, for example, he shares his broken heart with God and he doesn't hold back throughout his whole exchange with God. Now this is where we find encouragement in this because he gradually finds himself content even without all his hopes being fulfilled. But that doesn't happen quickly. And even more importantly, it only happens when Habakkuk is completely open and honest with God. It's only when we dare to ask God questions about the pain and confusion that he begins to heal and transform us. Now here's an idea. Ask God to search you to see if you're hiding pain or confusion that you should be sharing with him. Let him know that you're hurt and you have some questions and ask him to be your guide in troubling situations. Now here's something else I know. God will answer. Yes, pain happens. So open up. He's ready to listen.